For example, if we breathe through the mouth at night, we lose much more CO2. We cannot utilize nitric oxide, which is produced in sinuses, like it's a recently discovered hormone. Certain other negative effects take place, like a lot of bacteria, pathogens, dust, dust mite, and other particles, airborne particles can get inside our body, produce stress for lungs. So he uh, started to teach that, of course, we should breathe only through the nose. At night, anytime, during exercise, all the time through the nose. Sleeping on the bed, he discovered a very negative effect on our health. And he explained it. He was measuring actually parameters of sick people in the 60s. By, so are you sleeping on your back? Yeah, sleeping on the back at night, yeah. What he found that uh, when people sleep on the back, uh, our respiratory muscles are not restricted at all. Because if you imagine, if I'm sleeping on the back, my chest can easily move because the ribs, the actor is fixed on spine, but we can move easily here, and my belly also can move easily when I sleep on the back. So people start to breathe more, and CO2 content in the body drops because of sleeping on the back. But when people sleep on the side or chest, any position, left, right side or chest, uh, our breathing muscles are restricted. See, in order to if I sleep on my chest, for example, and I breathe using my chest or belly part, I actually have to lift all my body for breathing, and it's much more difficult. So breathing, we breathe less, you understand, when we sleep on so, the so, breathe, so lying on our backs is actually good? Uh, lying on the back uh, makes us breathe more. We breathe more, we have less oxygen. And breath holding time, because of that index of oxygenation, becomes less just because of one factor only when we sleep on the back at night, like we sleep, we get unconscious, of course, during sleep, and breathing becomes unrestricted. So, sick people are usually, like severely sick people, they are aware about this fact. And uh, it's, at the same time, somehow in hospitals, if we go, a lot of sick people, doctors kind of do not pay attention to this important moment of uh, to important detail of health of patients. But medical studies indeed found that, of course, sleeping on the back for, uh, is not good for our health in terms of oxygenation and other factors. In fact, healthy people, like if people who have very good oxygenation, people who are living aged 100 years ago, we would not be sleeping on the back at all.